So this is the first exercise that I usually do for warming up. Um, and this is just an exercise to work on a long note and your breathing control. Uh, so the first thing you can do is take maybe uh, something like middle C if you're a, a mezzo-soprano, perhaps a bit lower down if you're male voice. Um, you might want to start on the uh, G below middle C. So I'll give you both to uh, practice with. Let's do middle C first of all. So all you do for this is first of all hum the note and as you're humming the note the idea is to almost open your mouth around the air in your mouth rather than actually humming with your lips very pursed kind of close together and everything. Try and think of it in terms of having your um, uh, having enveloped a little bee or something in your mouth that you want to keep it alive and it wants to keep buzzing around. I don't know why you would want to do that, but that's that's the idea. So you open your mouth around this air, almost as though you're swallowing some air, but you don't swallow it. And then you hum the note. So blow the breath out first of all, take a nice deep breath in. Then hum the note. And then the next thing I want you to do is open out to R. So you hum the note and then slowly open out to an R sound. Okay, so just try that. So that's what you're going for. So then you try to sing the note for as long as you can. And for that you may find that certain notes will be easier than others and you will also find that um, certain ways of singing it will be more comfortable than others. So maybe if you're singing in chest voice instead of middle voice and so on, you'll have longer uh, with your breath. But that's something you can experiment with a little bit. First of all, just try it in the, in the way that seems most natural to you. So let's try this again. <sighs> So with that, I really do want you to go to the end of your breath. So that's one little exercise just for today to work on, to really go right to the end of your breath, even though it's going to start to sound wobbly and almost like a bee is buzzing around in there. Um, just go right to the end of the breath anyway. And you'll be able to time that if you use um, something to time it, if you have a second hand or whatever, um, you can see how you get better as you progress through your practice. Um, if you're doing a little bit of practice every other day, it should gradually get better and you should be able to um, keep your breath going for longer. Okay, so for those of you who might want to start on a lower note, let's try this on the G below middle C. Okay, so let's try this again. <sighs> Blow the breath out, then deep breath in, into the tummy, into your lower tummy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the first exercise. That's all you need to do as a first exercise.